Okay, for our uh, first question here. So we've got a closed air column resonating at its fundamental frequency. First thing I want to do, lambda equals 4L. Okay, I know I have to use that one because that's the formula for a closed air column resonating at its fundamental frequency. So I write that as part of my givens. Okay, um, we know that that fundamental frequency, or F1, is 245 hertz. Okay, and we know that the speed of sound in air is 330 meters per second. Right? We are looking for the length of the tube. Okay, so we're looking for L. Okay, so what's going on right now is this. Okay, that's, that's what's happening. That's what a closed air column looks like at its fundamental frequency if I could actually see the wave itself. So if I'm going to figure out the length of the tube, what do I need that I don't have? I don't have the wavelength. Okay, so I need to solve for lambda. So first give them a mark for their givens. Okay, the only way to get lambda is to use the universal wave equation with the other two things I was given, frequency and speed. Okay, so I would manipulate to lambda equals, um, equals uh, V over F. Okay, so give them a mark if they've got that. Okay, and we are looking at um, 330 divided by 245. Okay, so our wavelength is 1.346, okay, we'll, we'll keep all the decimals in the calculator, we'll just write 1.35 meters for now. Okay, um, and so the next thing we got to do then is plug into this formula, so we'll actually give them a mark if they have that formula, or maybe they went straight to the math and they went 4 times um, 1, whoops, I did that wrong, hang on. So one mark for this formula here, but we're, we're looking for the length, so we have to go lambda over 4 equals L, okay? And so that will be 1.35 divided by 4, okay? Um, and that's, so if they didn't have this, but they have this, that's the third mark. And then our fourth mark will be for the answer, okay? Um, I divide my one point, my wavelength there by 4, okay? And I get that the length of the tube to three significant digits is 0.337 meters. They may have also written 3.37 times 10 to the minus one meters, which would also be acceptable as the correct answer. Okay, either one of those. Questions on that one? Okay. Um, then we've got question number two, which is an open air call. Okay, so the first thing I want to write is that lambda equals 2L, because they tell me it's open and at its fundamental frequency. They tell me the length of the tube is 0.37 meters, and that the air temperature is 15 degrees Celsius. So give them a mark for their givens. Um, an open air column at its fundamental frequency looks like this. Okay, we have half a wavelength in the tube. Right now, we need to calculate the speed using 332 times 0.6 times time. Okay, so getting speed 332 uh, plus 0.6 times 15. We are looking at 341 meters per second. Okay, give them a mark for calculating the speed. Okay, even if they don't have the answer right, if they showed the work, they, they, they can have that mark. Now that I have um, length, what can I calculate with the length? I can calculate the wavelength. Okay, so wavelength is going to be 2 times L, which will be 2 times 0.37 meters. Okay, which should be uh, 0.74 meters. I'll give them a mark for that step. Okay, and then we have to use V equals uh, F times lambda. I'm looking for F, so uh, V equals, sorry, F equals V over lambda, okay, which will be 341 divided by 0.74 meters. That'll be their fourth mark, okay? and their fifth mark uh, will be for the 
frequency, which is 460, no, we only have two significant digits, 4.6 times 10 to the 2 hertz. Okay, for their fifth and final mark on that one. Please give a mark at a nine at the top. Once you've seen yours, put it on the desk right there in a neat pile.